Hello everyone, it's Raven here, and today I'm going to take you through a letter and the trailer for the Tomb Kings revealed by the uh, Creative Assembly Total War Warhammer team today. So uh, this letter right here came from the Facebook page of Total War. Uh, so if you can find them, you can just type in Total War on Facebook, and it's probably going to be one of the first two uh, options you see in that little turn up. So you can find that right here, and it's going to be like one of their top two or three posts, because uh, typically new posts go down a little bit under like things that are for their most recent DLC, but... This might be near the top. So right here, this talks about uh, some Tomb Kings going into this uh, grave, I guess, or temple, and trying to recover some magic. So if you can see, uh, well, I'll just go ahead and read it real quick. Uh, so, day 68, season of Drakira, at our last sojourn, and this arid hell is almost over. Finally, we have means to open it. Soon, my mistress, the door will rise, and I shall return the stolen magic back to you. It is strange, all this time out here under the sun, and yet we have not seen a single soul. No prisoners to take, or slaves to torture. So this is obviously Dark Elves, you know. He's going to talk about My Shades and stuff like that, and Gron. So I believe that uh, Marathi is from Gron. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what it's talking about. So, uh, not seeing a single soul, no prisoners to take, or slaves to torture. It has been dreary and monotonous. Not that my desires have overtaken our quest. No, mistress. I and my shades have been focused. I merely miss the distractions of Grand, and am eager to return. And return we shall, for when the dawn comes, the cipher will illuminate the door and open, and we shall take back what was always ours. I must sign off. For the night spreads across the desert. It is strange we are servants of the darkness, and yet here it unnerves. The wind howls across the dunes, and even more keenly in twilight. It echoes around this dead city, and seems to co coalesce around these grand frivolous statues, monuments to an extinct empire. Long may it stay that way. So we enter the tomb on the morrow, you know, tomorrow, which is today, in a sense, because this letter is supposed to be released tomorrow. I mean, yesterday, and the trailer came out to, uh, tomorrow, today. So kind of just wrap your head around that. I expect no trouble. After all, we are the only living souls for leagues. <laughs> but but are they? I don't know. Captured souls of the Ashapti warriors are still there. So let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, trailer. I'll go ahead and mute myself so you don't have to deal with me being all uh, like nerding out and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at this video. So right here you can find it. Total War Warhammer 2 Tomb Kings trailer. It's going to be on their uh, their channel right here. So just go ahead and take a look at it yourself if you want to rewatch it. I know I'm going to watch this thing like 17 times. I swear to God. So let's go ahead and get into this. Show them. We do not serve. We
All right, and we're back out on the 23rd of January. It's a long wait, it really is, but they had a um, an update on their Facebook. I'm, maybe it was not their Facebook, but there, there's an update somewhere talking about uh, the next update would probably come out in January, which is going to be the Tim Kings. And um, that letter that came out, like I talked about, for Marcus Wolfhart, still, still we could get a, a small update for a legendary lord uh, for Midland, I believe is where he's from. And uh, we'll be able to see that. But let's go ahead and take a look at this video real quick so we can identify some of the people that we saw. So we got Ushapti warriors right here. So giant, giant people. These are going to be kind of like your uh, Kraxagors, Cryptors, or your trolls, you know? Your giant, monstrous infantry. And they're going to be laying the smack down on people. And with those swords, I can imagine they're going to have quite heavy armor piercing damage as do most other uh, monstrous infantry. So let's go ahead and skip forward here. Right here we got the Casket of Souls. So that's going to be really cool. A lot of cool things come out of the cast of the souls in the um, the the board game, so I'm not I'm not too sure on what the rules are for it exactly. Uh, I don't actually own the uh, the books, or I've I've never even played the uh, the board game itself, but I know that it it's really useful. I think it can do damage to enemy targets like quite far away, so that's gonna be like a high value thing that you can buy and just kind of leave in your back line and just kind of like a bombardment but like magical bombardment kind of piece you can use. So just going forward here, you see the Dreadlord and this shade light. Ah, yeah, I made it out. What's What of it? And then this guy right here just gets absolutely just demolished by this tomb scorpion that just comes out of the ground and just absolutely takes him away into the sand. So that's unfortunate for him. And then let's see what else we got. I'm going to turn up the volume just a little bit. So then we got right here, I, I believe this is that this is Cetra the uh, Unperishable. So this is, this is really cool. So you can actually tell that his chariot is a little bit different. And I'm not sure if that's something that is uh, true in lore as well. But you can see that this is the only one with like little lit up wheels kind of spinning and going around right here. So nobody else has that, but of course, skeleton chariots, skeleton horsemen, skeleton uh, like horse archers and stuff like that are pretty prevalent in the, the Tim King armies. That's what they love. And right here we have some um, sepulchral, sep, sepulcher stalkers, I believe is what they're called. I actually, uh, let me find them. I'm trying to like look at their army list as well. So yeah, we got the Team Scorpion. Let's see here. Where was it? Where was it? Right after he popped up. Pause as soon as I can. Come on. There we go. So we got uh, Ushapti Warriors. I'm not sure if these are still also Ushapti Warriors, but perhaps maybe on the charge. And we have the, the Sepulchral, Sepulcher Stalkers. And then we're also going to be having uh, Necropolis Knights, which are the guys right here in the back. It's so hard to make out all this stuff. But you see how there's like these little snake guys, and they're like human on top, snake on the bottom with these weapons. And it's just kind of like giant snakes over here. Kind of like the same thing, but on top they have like a little guy with a giant old spear rolling around. And in the back here, you can see that they have the, uh, what is that? The uh, Kimrian War Sphinx, I believe is what that is. And you got the carry-on birds up in the top. It's going to be your fast, hard hitters, I guess, in the air, trying to tie up any kind of, like, ranged units people have thrown at you. And right there, oh my god, the Necro Sphinx. That was just beautiful. Look at this thing. It's huge. And I like the breath attack on that. I'm so happy for breath attacks. They make me so happy. And then right here, we have the Hyro Titan. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> They just try and run and he just fucking laser beams them down. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. That is brutal. That is brutal. It's just the terror that that thing is going to instill when you see that on the battlefield. You're like, I have to get that dead right now. Focus everything on that. Look at that behemoth. That monster. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is going to be fun. The Team Kings are going to be splendid. I didn't really see too much of their infantry. Obviously, they didn't really care to show them off too much. But, yeah, now that they highlighted him again, this is definitely Cetra the Unperishable. So, uh, we'll be getting him. Also, there was the Screaming Skull Catapults. I'm not sure if I actually got to highlight that or not. But uh, you can see it, like, when everybody's getting their lines charged and stuff like that over here. You can see the little skulls coming in, the blue skulls kind of flying in. Yep. So we got that. So we have quite a few monsters. So we have the Casket of Souls, the Necro Sphinx, Hyro Titans. We have the Cambrian War Sphinx, Ushabti, Sepulchral, uh, Sepulchral Stalkers, and then we uh, Necropolis Knights are pretty much the same thing to me. Uh, skeleton Chariots. I'm sure they're going to have Skeleton Horsemen and Skeleton Horse Archers. That just seems like a given. 
Like they, they have the range capability. I don't think they're going to negate that for them because that's that's what differ, differs them from the, um, the vampire counts that and their extreme lack of flying units besides the uh, the carrion. But that's about it for them. But yeah, I, I feel like they just didn't really want to show off any of the Tomb King infantry. I wish they could have showed some Tomb Guards, uh, which is their most elite infantry, but hey, it's all right. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait for this DLC. This is going to be an unbelievable DLC, and it's going to add a lot of flavor to the game. And I know a lot of people really like the Tomb Kings, as do I. I love, I love Egyptian history. I love the looks of everything Egyptian, and just look at look at Setra right here. He's just so happy with this giant snake on top. So perhaps this opens up the doorway to people like Arkin the Black, who uh, helped uh, Manfred von Karstein summon Nagash back in the end time. So that'll that'll be interesting because he is uh, he he has a temple or a city. The Temple of Arkin the Black, I believe, is actually a city that you can take over in the campaign map. So that'd be pretty cool to see him get added as well. Maybe that'll be like their, um, I don't know. I, I don't know if like how they're going to do the Lords on, on here because you have like the priests, but then you have like Setra, who's also, I believe he's magical in his own rights. Uh, at least he should be. And then Arkin the Black by no means was a pushover in magics, but he was also a pretty, pretty strong character in the melee. Like he was uh, throwing down with Manfred von Karstein in a duel on a bridge and then like, he just set his staff in the stone, and he's like, you can't move me once this staff's down, bro. Like, I'm not going to be able to be touched. And Ranford's like, oh, yeah, we'll see, and just started summoning all these hordes of undead to try and rip them apart. And he's just standing there like, it's not it's not going to do anything to me. So that would be really cool. But what I'm foreseeing, though, from this race is lots of, like, stalk and uh, creepy units just kind of, like, on the flanks or hidden. Hopefully there's, like, an ambush mechanic that we're going to see with the uh, Tomb Scorpions how they like pop out of the sand like that and the same thing for the sepulchral stalkers and the necropolis knights because they're supposed to be able to hide underneath the sand and just pop out and just take out people like nothing so that'd be really interesting to see and then the rest of their army is just going to be chariots leading the charge pulling out and then their infantry just running in and just mucking up everything while their monsters just absolutely rip through everything oh, i cannot wait for this army it's going to be so much fun but alas that's that's going to be pretty much it for today guys uh, I just enjoyed looking at this uh, this little roster with y'all, but I gotta go for work. I just wanted to do this prior to having to leave because I just wanted to get this out as soon as possible. So this is gonna be really cool. So as always, guys, if you like what you saw, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and comment down in the comment section down below, of course. Uh, let me know if there's anything you want me to do in the campaign, units you want me to test out against each other. I know there's lots of factors with these four new races we just got, and it takes a lot of testing to get to know them very well. But I'll do anything y'all want me to do, so just let me know. And as always, guys, I will catch y'all later.